Hello everyone, I am Crooked, and this is Unscripted, the series where I take a completely unscripted look again and give it... I can't talk. A completely unscripted look at games and give it a 1 through 10 rating. And today we have every 90s kid's, like, favorite game, or favorite show ever, Gargoyles. Uh, 994 AD, Viking Sorcerers create an artifact of incredible evil and power, the Eye of Odin. Uh... Yeah, so gargoyles. Ah! <laughs> that was great. Wow, this is like dark right from the get go. So, anyone who doesn't know, Gargoyles uh, was a show in the 90s that was dark and was about gargoyles in New York that were trying to fight against evil and there was. Uh, like government agency that was trying to stop them and then ended up working with them and um it's been a really long time since i've seen gargoyles so if i got any of those details wrong uh that's why i remember from being a kid so you know and there was goliath who was the leader and he was like basically angel from buffy if if you've ever seen that if not then you should <laughs> look up goliath from Gargoyles, Angel from Buffy, and you will laugh because they're like, uh, Corver wants you to find the difference between these two pictures. They're the same picture. Um, J1 who, uh, has never seen that, well, now you have. Congratulations. So, um, right from the get go, this game is dark um very much matches the tone of gargoyles but it's also a genesis game if i sound slightly upsetty spaghetti it's because i'm not the biggest genesis fan uh I, I, matter of fact i'm trying to figure out oh okay i had to leap through there that was spiffy Um, but I'm usually not a fan of, like, the sound chips and everything on the Genesis, and I'm just not a fan of not knowing what to do in a game! <laughs> but, I, I mean, I can't fault the Genesis for this. This is wacky. So, the controls, uh... A, you know, does this. B, makes jump. C, has you be a flappy boy. Um, I can look up in a really awkward way. Start and select don't do anything. I don't understand what I'm supposed to do here. Okay. Whoa! That was wild. So, I was able to, like, dive bomb? I don't know how I did that, but when you're running, you can, like, do that crazy jump. Uh, yeah. Okay, so if there's a thing there, you can do that. Uh, so this is the evil thing. Oh, is it going to fire this way now? That's weird. So, controls-wise, this game's a little confusing, but, ow, and it's kind of not fantastic, uh, it feels very sloppy, like, hard to control, uh, it feels like it should be a lot more fluid than it is, but it's really, really not. What the heck just happened? I, I don't, I don't know what's happening. Uh, <laughs> I was just like in an area. Um, it plays a lot like, you know, the Spider-Man games on the Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis, which I don't think anyone is a huge fan of. I'm not talking like Arcade's Revenge, which actually has pretty good controls, if you remember me talking about it. Uh, if not, then you should check out that video. But, um, 
it it plays more like some of the other Spider-Man games, which you know I I should take a look at those. Especially since I'm just a glutton for punishment in like all of the stupid Spider-Man games, no matter how terrible they may be. Uh, yeah, I know it, it's terrible and I shouldn't, but Spider-Man. So sound this has a lot of the chunky genesis audio that i'm not a fan of but the music is kind of deep and dark and I, I i like that it that's a cool aspect of it um i have no idea what i'm doing the game does literally nothing to try to tell you what you need to do not always a great thing. Pretty common in older games, but still not something I like to see because I like my games to, you know, at least give me a hint of, like, what I'm supposed to do in the game. Whoa! Shabibbles! Okay. So far, I've learned that I'm supposed to break through walls and beat these guys up. Oh no! I don't know. I think the bottom left is my health bar, which I don't know what raises my health. I, I really know nothing. And I feel like the game didn't have to make it that confusing or anything. It, it could have been an easy, here's how you do things. Oh, and then he yells, turns to stone, and dies. And yeah, that's, that's gargoyles. Do I just start where I was? I guess I have five lives because that was at six in the bottom. And I think, yeah, I just start where I was. So, I mean, it's kind of forgiving. That's always really nice to see in a game like this. Um, I don't know what the point of going up here is. I assumed there was a secret up here. But there's just a really badass Viking with uh, another token that I don't know if I need. Um... This, uh, this game just has some issues. And I don't think it has anything that really separates it from basically any other 90s platformer, really. It's not like... It's not anything special enough that you'd want to really spend a bunch of time with it, I don't think. And that's a shame because the source material it is fantastic, but if you if you didn't know the source material and you just like picked up this game, I, I'm not sure if you'd enjoy it. Oh, okay, so you can hit A and B and do the, like, dive of doom. Um, yeah, this feels like kind of just a generic... Imagine ukulele, if you would, will, where it's like Banjo-Kazooie. This is like a good platformer, but ukulele where it's just meh trying to relive the goodness of a platformer that isn't this oh i guess that makes me invincible that's kind of cool um yeah i don't know this game is just really rough i I'm, I'm not a fan uh in terms of a score there's not really anything higher than about a five that I could give this. If you're a huge fan of the source material, you might get some serious entertainment out of this. But otherwise, I don't think you're going to spend more than 10 seconds playing it because it's just 
there's nothing there's nothing here that's worth spending time on uh so with that uh if you like this video go ahead and hit that like button hit the subscribe button so that way you never miss out on an episode of unscripted don't forget to hit the bell so you'll be notified whenever a new episode of unscripted does come out and if you want to support the channel a bit more go ahead and check out the patreon link is in the description down below and other than all that i do want to thank you for watching unscripted and i will see you on the next episode Bye!